alas, a Concord's cockpit is a bit too cramped for two guitars and three musicians. So we were off to find another place to perform Kite's new single that I helped produce and arrange last year. But not before a stop at Pugs, a wonderful, authentic Bayesian food hut just across from the airport, where the only thing better than the grilled chicken and the Banks beer were the amazing prices. It's a worthwhile stop for sure. So onward we went on a short drive through the warm Caribbean winds on a road that loops around the 090 end of the main runway to find the Barbados Slight Aeroplane Club. The club is also the home of the Flight Training Institute. If you're thinking of training for your pilot's license, I can't think of a better place. Founded in 1951, the club boasts an average of 352 flying days a year because of the island's amazing weather. The club also offers an amazing experience of scenic flights around the island. I got the chance to speak with Chairman Jeffrey Griffith about the club. What, what would be some of the connections between this place being such a wonderful place to visit and actually training here? Well, it, it's the weather yeah. and we have a great airport. We have a runway of 11,000 feet. Mm -hmm. uh, that's uh, international standard. Yeah. Uh, it's a great connection between the, uh, the other islands. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's very active, right? And uh, the weather is superb. Is it an advantage to be around the, the larger airliners to, to deal with that traffic on a day-to-day -day basis? Of course, that, that uh, prepares the young pilots for the uh, for their more advanced training. They get mm -hmm. to, to mix with the um, with the commercial spacing and so on. Yes. Also, it gives the air traffic controllers an opportunity to work with students right. and commercial operations. Right. That's important. Yeah. yeah. Very important. Yeah, for both both sides. For both of sides. Yeah. Correct. And uh, of course, after all the all the stuff that Barbados brings outside of flying is, is also wonderful. I can't think of a better yeah. place to learn how to fly. Well, that's a good story too. Yeah. Uh, it's after flying. Yeah. So uh, this is a great place to start playing. Well, anyway, thank you very much, Jeffrey, for having me. It's a pleasure. And uh, it's been really, really great time being here. It's a great pleasure to have you here. Thanks so much. Well, the pleasure was ours for sure, because the great crew here allowed us on board one of General Aviation's stalwart warriors, the Beechcraft King Air. A Beechcraft King Air B-200, to be exact. This formidable aircraft is a twin-engine turboprop aircraft born in the same year as myself, 1972. It boasts the longest production run of any civilian aircraft in its class, with over 3,800 built over the years. So it was time to board this $8 million darling and test out the acoustics with the boys from Kite in its luxurious cabin. It's very comfortable. I'd like to say this is the Kite private, <laughs> private jet. Well, we could, <laughs> but it won't be true. <laughs> yeah, we just lease it, it's occasionally. Yes. Well, I think this is the kind of the land of private jets. I mean, there's a lot of celebrities and, yes. um, uh, you know, just just well-to-do that that come in and house themselves on this island, isn't it? Yeah, know. absolutely. You you almost know what time of year it is or what occasions happening. And at Christmas time, you see an unusual number of private jets, private jets at the airport. I find that the, the Bayesian people are they're so welcoming that you don't see that in some countries. You see this disparity between you know, the super the resorts and, and and then the locals, but it's sort of all intermingled and... No, I think, I um, mean, obviously there's there's different levels to everything, but I think that, you know, Bayesians, they don't go Hollywood mm -hmm. on people, which I think is why so many celebrities actually like to come here, because they're just treated as normal human beings, mm -hmm. and I think they miss that right. uh, at home. So when they come here, they can just walk into a rum shop and start up a conversation, and they can just talk normally with people. Yeah. And I think Barbados has never lost that charm. Yeah. Um, and uh, I think that's what people really do love about the island and socially in, in clubs where bands play and so forth you'll have all different kinds of people mixing mm -hmm. you'll have visitors and locals all kinds of stuff and that's always been a feature of uh, you know the nightclub and live entertainment scene so that's always regarded as completely normal there's huge mixing of visitors and locals and everything so that's great and and Brian what do you think that 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 vibe that that vibe that I'm feeling when I'm here is is due to something? Yeah, but that's like a Bayesian culture thing, you know. It's like I noticed it the other day when we were like standing in the bank, you know, and um, people walk in, they say good afternoon or good evening to a whole crowd of people in the bank, and it's actually seemed to be quite impolite to like not say good afternoon or you know good day to someone to everyone in the mm -hmm. bank as you're walking through. So it's 
we still have that. I think that that's amazing, you know? Yeah. And you still see it like when we're driving through like the countryside and things like that. People are waving, mm -hmm. you know, total strangers, you know? I noticed that. I mean, that, that is such yeah. a nice thing, you know? You know? That's fantastic. I, I think that in, in your music, there's a, there's a welcoming nature to the way you write. Um, the simplicity of the guitar lines that I, in Firefly, I mean, can you play the riff there? What, what key do you play there? Just on the club here now. Yeah. What's that? E minor, yeah. Ah, yeah. I mean, that, that is just, you could play that forever. You really could just play that forever. I mean, um, I find that also in Tell Me, that there's a nice yeah. rolling chord vibe, is a welcoming sound. But do you think that that comes from that, that kind of thinking, that, that laid back, we want yeah. to we want to make you feel at home in the song. We were trying to make it with Norwegian death metal, but we found <laughs> to get a little bit more marketable. We decided to like stick with what we know. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Ooh. <laughs> 